Hi everybody and welcome back to another writing vlog on my channel. It's been such a long time since I've made one of those. I'm really happy to be back. I did film one but I was writing an essay about a subject that I'm still kind of struggling with so I haven't you know found like the courage to upload that yet but I might one day. This week is a really exciting week for writing because I am performing my stories in a theatre <laughs> tomorrow and today I'm going to write and do like a selection of all the things I want to perform. I have 15 minutes to fill. I don't think I'm ever going to be filling those 15 minutes but I'm very excited. I'm kind of nervous. I need to practice today and see like which pieces I'm going to perform and I also want to work on one of the pieces I'm currently working on which is all about being a creator and creating art and like my relationship to creating things so that's also an essay that is very near and dear to my heart so lots of exciting writing things yesterday I had a little writing group thing where we all sat together with some friends and did some writing one of my friends um, Mother Leaf organized it and it was really really cool so if I'm correct you just saw some footage from that and Mother Leaf's house is also amazing it's so vibey and just the whole writing session was so lovely and I had a great time and now I'm gonna go over to my best friend's house and write at her place because working together is always easier than alone. <laughs> Everybody. It's the day of my performance today. I did finish all the pieces that I want to be performing yesterday. I mean most of them were already written but I just did like a few changes to make sure that they would go over well when being performed. I have three pieces I want to perform. It's I think around 10,000 words altogether. Quite a lot of words actually. I have no idea if this is going to be enough to fill 15 minutes. I think probably not, but I'm planning on practicing this in a little bit. Performing in my living room for nobody to see, I guess, just as like a practice for tonight. I mean, clearly I'm not gonna learn these by heart or anything and then perform them. I'm going to read them to the people, which is also what I meant to do, so that's fine, but I do wanna practice them a few times, preferably. <laughs> I've performed before. I really love performing. I love telling people my stories. I do you think I'm a storyteller at heart? When I write and tell stories, everything just feels right. It feels so right to me. And I am very excited to perform tonight. I am a little bit nervous. It's been a while and I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. So I've just been hoping I'm not going to get ill, but I'm feeling okay today. I slept well, so that's good. I'm also nervous because all of these stories that I'm going to perform are quite intimate. The first one is about my first kiss and it's kind of about like that loss of innocence that coming of age where you discover your body and maybe your sexuality and things you want and you know dealing with the longing and lust as a young teen and like kissing and oh my god I it's basically about how I was afraid to kiss <laughs> it's called magnetic fields and I'm quite proud of it I think it's it's a good one it's also weird because both of these pieces are so not how I feel about the topic right now clearly because if you've never kissed before and you're 15 years old it's terrifying you know especially if you have anxiety and then the last piece of writing is about my dating life so it's like a little blips of all these dates that i've been on and that one is really it's very sex in the city-esque you know it talks about sex on the first day and like dating and all these different situations so it feels really silly like this planning of readings feels really really silly goofy to put these stories after each other oh i just think these are good stories so and i do think it's kind of it works kind of i don't know i still have to practice so that's what i'm going to be doing and then i'm going to make some changes if necessary practice some more then i'm going to make myself a cup of coffee do some other work then i'm going to practice some more 
And then I'm gonna get ready for tonight. I have this really beautiful dress that I want to wear. It's a really long brown sort of gown with these puffy sleeves that are kind of sheer. And then I'm going to put on loads of jewelry and I think probably my extensions as well. I'm really excited. I have to be in for sound check at five o'clock. I'll try to film some at the theater as well, but I don't know if I can, but I'll see. Wish me luck. <clears throat> I'm timing myself so I can get an estimate of how many minutes I'm going to be filling. Okay, so I clearly don't know time because I just practiced my first essay and I've not even read the whole essay, but I'm already at 15 minutes and I only have 15 minutes. So there's no way I'm going to read two essays and then another short one. So I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, right now I am considering just doing a section of the first essay it would have to be right up until where I just quit reading it and that's already 15 minutes but I also did like a little intro talk so I think I'm gonna try again without the small intro talk and just like launch into it quicker and because I thought I wasn't gonna have enough you know so I was stalling but I have too much 10,000 words is way more than 15 minutes is what I just discovered. <laughs> and then I'm gonna launch straight into the dating thing, which will be a funny skip forward in time, I guess, because we're going from this frigid 16 year old who's afraid to kiss right into me right now, dating about, doing scandalous things. So great times all together. I'm going to make some changes and practice again. Hi everyone, I made it to the theater. This is Sophie's assistant, co-worker. I don't trainee, know. Yeah. trainee, yeah, Kaya. Do you want to tell them something about yourself? Of course. Hi, I'm Kaya. I work at uh, Below Beats, uh, Sophie's company, where Leo is gonna perform today, which is pretty cool. And I also love music, culture, everything. I'm also a musician, so. Oh god, that's so cool. I didn't. And know I also that. love reading, and I love to watch Leo's videos, <laughs> which is really cool. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> It's really funny because Sophie told me, she was like, she told me that you found her company through me. Yeah, literally. I just yeah. watched Lyra's story and then I clicked on it and it was like, that looks so cool. That logo looks so nice. That's I made the logo. <laughs> got this making it seem like I just went up on that stage and at the best time I mean I did go up on that stage and I had a good time but I was definitely nervous I was definitely like trembling a little bit and I was like kind of afraid that it wasn't gonna go the way I had planned it in my head and I already got promoted from the small venue to the big venue because they sold more tickets than anticipated and the thing is you, most of the time you have a microphone in a standard like in a thing so you don't have to hold it but I did have to hold it so they presented me onto the stage they were like this is Leo Riley uh. so I went on and then I got handed the microphone and I was also holding my story so I know at some point I'd have to switch out the paper but I needed to hold the microphone <laughs> so I was just stood there like really awkward and I was like okay in the middle of the story because I would practiced swapping out the papers really smoothly in my practiced scenario I had a microphone standard <laughs> so I kind of I said something into the microphone like oops well I'm just gonna have to walk over here and then I put my paper on a keyboard <laughs> Because there was a band going to perform after me because it was three acts that night and I just kind of switched out the paper But I feel like it was kind of okay and people laughed at my jokes But still that was awkward put that smidge of reality into this because I feel like I kind of glossed over that Because I was just so enthusiastic and like hyped about having performed and everything going so well But you know, I was still really nervous, but I did enjoy it a lot so <laughs> 